You're watching Buzz with Jess Luhan. Under the American Sun is what we're talking about tonight. It's the Camber Rojas Film Project. We have the director, we have, uh, of course, the producer, and member of getting everybody together here, mm -hmm. of course, for this for this project. We have Bernie, Christine, and, and Bert here uh, th this evening. So, Under the American Sun, how did we come about with with this uh, with the name? And you've had to, Bert. You know, I, mm -hmm. I know you're the you're the film guy. I'm how did you put this storyboard together? You know, we, <laughs> you know it, we all had a you know we're all part of a team, but I think. Bernie would explain that more, because I think it was her brother that came up. The, the idea? The no, brother moment. came up with the okay, title. Okay. Gina, um, yeah. I think he had a lot of underlying meaning mm -hmm. behind the title, mm -hmm. Under the American Sun, because mm -hmm. I think it was also to compare us as Philippi a generation of Filipino mm -hmm. Americans who, did not, who do not quite understand mm -hmm. our history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think he equated it with that song, remember, planting rice is never mm. fun. Um, the morn to the set of exactly sun. Exactly right. So uh, I think that's where he I derived Can I rest for a little bit? <laughs> 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 so I'm not really quite sure. It yeah. was kind of has yeah. a very deep meaning yeah. underlying. Yeah. Sure. But yeah. uh, we adapted it mm -hmm. for the project, mm -hmm. yeah. and it worked out really well. And, and this was great, because mm -hmm. I, I, I tell you, if, if you probably would have done this years back. I mean, you know, we, we were talking in the break here that, you know, Guam went through a period of, of racial tension, mm -hmm. you know, in regard mm -hmm. to Filipinos and, and Chamorro. I was mm -hmm. going to school at the time, junior high and, and high school. Sure. Uh, and uh, again, some Filipinos definitely didn't want to identify mm -hmm. as Filipinos because mm -hmm. they didn't want to, you know, get into this racial, racial, mm -hmm. racial, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, tension. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and there was. Did when you were growing up? I mean, because you grew up here, you didn't. I mean, you mm -hmm. you weren't you weren't in mm -hmm. Iloilo. You weren't in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Grub. You you were here. You were you were Guam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you you were Born Guam. Born and raised yeah. and learned. Born and That's yeah. right. Yeah. More away. <laughs> did you? I mean, how was it grow, growing up as a, as as a Filipino? Or did you know at the time? Or did you identify with that? Uh, well, at the time because everybody around you was the same. We were all the same. I think we yeah. I think that would explain why a lot of us didn't learn how to speak our own mm -hmm. native language at the yeah. time. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you're growing up, there is that tension, yeah, you know. Yeah. You, know um, you made friends, but, uh, you know, uh, if you had a really strong accent, you were picked on, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And yes, yeah. sure. Our yeah. parents always raised us to speak English first. Yeah. If you want to be successful, yeah. got it. Got to speak English. English first. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you know when you grow up in Agate or Ganya Heights, you know, where I grew up too, <laughs> you know, it's like sometimes yeah. they can't tell, you know, because sure. we don't speak our, our language. We don't sure. have that. We have local accents. Sure, yeah. sure, and, sure. You know, sometimes it's hard to tell at the time. Sometimes they'll think you're only half. Yeah. You know. So so when so, <laughs> so when 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 you go home, your cousins will probably say, "Hey, he's American." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think it's just it's just yeah. the way we were sure, brought up. Sure, you know, sure. we had a lot of friends, but yeah, yeah, yeah there was tension. My brothers, yeah. you know, my brother had to transfer from GW to because, You know, yeah. no, <laughs> you know, no, I mean, I mean, that, 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 was, that, that was going around. That, but, that was know. that was a part of, mm -hmm. of life back then. Sure. I mean, to 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 get that out of the equation, to be saying you, you, you taking, you know, it's going to be a big hole. I mean, that's that's mm -hmm. part of mm -hmm. where we at today, and mm -hmm. you know, the integration and. Of course, uh, Bernie. Now you're you're uh, Bernie Pervito Schumann. Now I mean, <laughs> my Filipino last name. My Filipino last name. Yeah, I kept yeah, it yeah, in the that, middle. Yeah, that, that, that's that, that's <laughs> right. So yeah. so your parents, your 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 mom and dad still alive? No, uh, my dad passed, passed, passed. Yeah. five yeah. six five years ago, ago. four okay. years ago. Yeah. Uh, but I think growing up, it was a really it was, for me. It was a great time growing up in Guam, and uh -huh. that's why you know mm -hmm. I'm back home sure, wanting to sure. be part of this community sure. uh, because Guam is my home. Um, I think we wanted to be, our parents wanted us to speak perfect English, mm -hmm. so as Bert mentioned, so because they wanted us to learn the Western system sure. to be purely successful mm -hmm. in whatever career or path sure, we choose sure, to do. Sure. So I think that was very instilled mm -hmm. in us, but at mm -hmm. the same time, um, you know, people called our village of Timoning Little Manila, mm -hmm. and it was kind of fun. I mean, mm -hmm. I will not say it was really in, mm -hmm. because they were racist, my friends, but I remember saying, oh, Come on, you guys! Come and come and check out the Filipinos over in Little Manila. You know, so they mm -hmm. referred to our village as Little Manila because there was a lot of Filipino families mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. That didn't really bother me, mm -hmm. but later on, it 
I had now understood that it was so important to try to identify, but I never wanted to identify then. Sure. I'm sure. like, no, God, you guys, I'm from Guam. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm Guamanian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, you have Filipino blood. And so we had this whole discussion about, mm -hmm. you know, I'm really, I'm, I'm purely Filipino. Well, I, I remember the time, I remember <laughs> the time as well. We were all there, we'll yeah. be playing and, and somebody will be cooking and we know if it's a Filipino cooking. <laughs> We got that fish going. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, we, we now appreciate sure, of all course. Of yeah, what yeah. we have embraced. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, and how sure. to embrace yeah. the Guamanian history, yeah. our Chamorro friends, yeah. especially for really mm -hmm. making us feel welcome mm -hmm. on, yeah. in Guam. But, but, but yeah. how, now, because, you know, we have, of course, now, of course, the Chamorros, we have, uh, of course, a lot of our kids growing up are not speaking. That's why it's required in, in, in the mm -hmm. classroom. Like yourself, you said some of you guys don't know how to speak the language. Language because your your parents mm -hmm. assisted you 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 in, in, you embrace this American way the Western mm -hmm. uh, you know the type of life and to be successful you got to be be able to speak perfect English and you got to be in, in just embrace that that uh, your Western style of life as well. What is it like now again that now you're saying hey it's important now to to understand where we're from who we are and uh, and that we are you know we are Filipino Americans you know we are especially along with Visayas yes. and all yeah. that so. How do you now instill that in your kids now growing up? Because uh, again, to, to tell them who exactly they are and to, to appreciate that. Well, I think this film is for the younger generation, mm -hmm. for them to understand where, their, where their, the future mm -hmm. for them lies. And, but they, in order for them to do that, they have to have an understanding of also their past. Sure. And so this film is really important because what mm -hmm. it has done for me personally mm -hmm. um, is um, promote dialogue. Mm -hmm. about the Filipinos that first that came to Guam, not just the, the Camp Rojas mm -hmm. uh, laborers, but also prior to that, sure. the, uh, Guam connection with the Philippines and the United States mm -hmm. and how we're all interrelated mm -hmm. in some mm -hmm. form or the other. Sure, sure. And that uh, we can move forward in, our his in, in, sure. in the future with mm -hmm. having an identity that we have understand. But to move forward, you have to have that historical understanding of your parents and great grandparents. And, and sure, you know, time is not on our side to, mm -hmm. to be able to get on camera, to get mm -hmm. the interviews from parents and right. grandparents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you lost your dad a few, a few mm -hmm. years ago. He can't tell that story anymore, mm -hmm. so it's got to be your mom to tell the story. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so we have less and less people being able to mm -hmm. tell that story. Now you're going to have to document it so you can repeat that story and it can, mm -hmm. can be repeated. One, one of the things that I you know, wanted to really share was this story with Christine. And Christine wrote to me last two years ago about her dad being from Camp Rojas. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, there's so many of us, you know, that mm -hmm. we didn't know how who was who. Sure, sure. And her she dad just, died. Yes. Her dad died. Just and a, I was never able to interview yeah. her dad. So that just was a like year ago. This yeah. year ago. Yeah. yeah. So that was kind of sad because I went through our, you know, our dialogue and discussions, mm -hmm. and she was introducing herself and saying, hey, you know, my dad is still here and he has great memories. He remembers yeah. everything, even when he was third grade. He yeah. actually passed when he was eighty-five. Just. That's, yeah, that's yeah, true. and 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 there you go. But see, see now he he got that knowledge, gave it to you. So now and he you can tell gave that it to story. My children, there they, we go. They remember. There we go. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna pay some bills, come back, and say goodbye to our folks, and 